Good day! This is Teacher Rowan. I'll be your guide in exploring Google Apps for Education, for teaching and learning. In Google for Education, teachers can connect and collaborate easily while staying on task. It gives teachers the freedom to spend more time personalizing the learning experience and less time managing it. Students can learn essential skills such as 21st century problem solving, which they can use it in their future careers. As such, the accessibility features will also help and assist every learner to do their best work. Google offers different useful applications that we can use to connect education to technology. This will help our teachers as a 21st century educators to innovate and find ways on how to make teaching and learning more exciting, engaging, effective, and flexible to the demands of the society. Let's re-explore the education experience by discovering new angles to create collaborate, and communicate as one. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Ang pagkatuto, huwag gawing komplikado. Sulong edukalidad. Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello, good afternoon, parents, teachers, and of course, to our dear learners. Kumusta po kayo? Sana po ay you are uh, feeling great at this moment. And welcome to our Italy online tutorial. And welcome to our subject, English 2. We are on the quarter four. Biruin nyo yun. Nasa quarter four na po tayo. Week one and our topic for this afternoon is reading words with short A-E-I-O-U. The sounds in CVC. Pattern. What is CVC? That's consonant, vowel, and consonant pattern. We'll try to get more of that later on. So I am your tutor, tutor jester, your substitute tutor for tutor Jennifer. May ina, may ina si kaso lang ulit si tutor Jennifer. And uh, don't you worry, Malenyo, next week uh, she'll be with you now. Okay? All right. So watching from um, Masino of Mahada. Elementary School, it's Rufina Nazaret Suelto, Charisma Joy Albaira Molinyawe. Pakilagay din naman class ang inyong uh, mga schools so that your schools will be acknowledged. Okay. From Masambong Elementary School, Quezon City, Grade 2 Pinya, that's Alessandra Saklamitao. And also from Bayanan Elementary School in San Nicolas, Cavite, that's Maria Luz Trono. All right. So I'll be... Uh, I'll be trying to greet you all later on as we go along with our lesson. Good afternoon, Erin and Jan and Alessandra Charisma, Sir RJ, si Doc RJ Calagos. All right, so I am sure that you, that it is, um, there's a question here. Do you want to be a good reader? And I am pretty sure that it is also your greatest desire that is to become one that you need to learn how to read simple words first. Ika nga, basic, fundamental, yung mga simple words muna. And as a beginning reader kayo, as a grade 2 
a student or pupil, learning CBC words is a good way to practice your reading and even your spelling skills. Your knowledge of the sound of each letter helps you blend the individual sounds together, which enables you to read more words and that and by that, as a grade 2 learner like you, you must be able to know how to read with ease. Ika nga, di ba? Medyo dapat um, maganda na yung pagbasa nyo kasi kayo ay grade 2 learner na. By familiarizing the basic sight words containing the A, E, I, O, and U sounds. In CBC, again, CBC stands for Consonant, Vowel, and Consonant. This skill will eventually help you become a good reader dealing with more difficult words as you move to the next grade level, which is grade three, okay? All right. So again, that's CVC, consonant, vowel, and consonant. Example we got here is a fin. Letter F is a consonant letter. I is a vowel letter. And N is a consonant. That's CVC. C, V, C. Okay. Wow, good more, uh, Good afternoon, Hans, Ezekiel. C, B, C words are three letter words that follow a consonant vowel and a consonant pattern. The C, B, C words are words with a short vowel sounds. The short vowel sound is a term used to refer to sounds that correspond to the vowels E, A, I, O, and U. I am sure that you are familiar with this. Then I don't know. And uh, we'll try to have an activity later on. And for sure, sabik na sabik na kayo to answer this or the activities that we that I prepared for you. Meron din tayong short A. It is the medial sound you hear in the words. Example, mat. Repeat after me nga ha. Mat. Ram. Ram. Far. Far. Bag, bag, mad, mad. As you can see, yung mga spelling niya may C, B, C, di ba? Example, yung mat, M, consonant, A, vowel, T, consonant, and the rest, okay? All right, you got it? Hans, Neri, Maribet, good afternoon also, Marites. Great to Sampagita from Kaniyogan Elementary School. Maritis David. Okay, let's have the next one. The short E sound is the medial sound you hear in the words like bet. Or repeat after me. Bet. Fed. Fed. Red. Red. Gem. Gem. Ten. Ten. Again, nasa CVC pattern, yung mga words na examples. Okay? All right. Next up, we got the short I. The short I is the medial sound you hear in the words. Example, pit. Pit. Mix. Mix. Deem. Deem. Hid, hid, lip, lip. Wow, nice one. Jan Rose, Erin, Mikaela, Alessandra. That's um, Sir RJ, Jan Ishan, Alessandra. It's, yeah, thank you so much for being active and participative this afternoon session, for this afternoon session. Next, we got the short O, or it can be O. Oh. It is the middle sound you hear in the words job, pop, nut, fog. Again, repeat after me. Job, pop, nut, fog. Very good. Good job. Yeah? Erin was able to give an example of uh, words with the uh, short I or the E sound. It's spit, mix, dim, hit, and lip. Very good, Eric. Thank you so much. Watching from San Juan Central um, School, great to Agoncillo. That's Janice Jaime Vista. Thank you so much, Utoy. Next up, we got the short U or the O uh, sound. 
the medial sound you hear in the words hut, nut, bud, and cut. Again, repeat after me. Hut, nut, bud, cut. There you go. I hope not ututu kayo ko kay tutor Jester. Now, here are examples of words in the CBC pattern used in the sentence. Let us try to read them aloud. So, sabayan nyo si sir, si tutor Jester at home ha. Dapat, uh, of course, with supervision, with supervision of your uh, parents or guardian, okay? So, again, here is the directions. Here are examples of words in the CBC consonant vowel, consonant pattern used in the sentence. Let us try to read them aloud. As you can see in the picture, may isang boy and uh, the older boy, <laughs> they're cleaning the car. And here is the sentence. I made a um, name for the, uh, the um, little boy. <laughs> It's Bob. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Dad and Bob clean the car. Ayong at home in three, two, one. All right, very good. So, what are the CBC word or words that we have there? It's Dad, Bob, and car. Very good. Nice one, Jennifer Eduarte. You're watching from Mahada out elementary school, grade two, Masinop, with mom, Rufina, as well to as your advisor in Kalamba City. Very good. Very nice. Erin, Bohan, Gallagher, Bo uh, Jan Rose, Mayaline, and many. Okay, let's proceed with the next uh, picture. Or the next one. <laughs> as you can see, we got here a boy trying to opening a box with toys inside. Okay, so let's have it. The sentence or the sentences. He is my brother. He puts his toy in the box. Again, he is my brother. He puts his toy in the box. Kayo nga at home. In three, two, one. Okay, very good. So what are the CBC words that we have there? It's toy and box. Very good. Jennifer Gallagher Eden, um, Hans, Juan Miguel. Wow. Mylene, Taba. Thank you so much. Paul. Next picture we got a lady or a girl. Holding a book. Nandun siya for sure sa kanyang room. Matutulog na. And here is the sentence. Tin read books on her bed. Tin read books on her bed. So kayo nga at home. In three, two, one. Very good. Very nice. Great to learn. So what are the words having the CBC pattern? It's, yes, you got it right. Fatima, Hans, and also Neri. Wow, nice one. Mary Beth, Gallagher as well. Very active Talaisi Gallagher all the time. Ariseli, Andaya, Charisma. Oy, you may share this video huh, so that others would know that there is an Itolai online tutorial para mas madaming ma-reach, mas madaming manood at hindi lamang manood, matuto, di ba? Very good, learners. Try to share this one. Okay, next. Meron pa ba? Let's try to figure out. Yan. Parang buong pamilya, di ba? Kapamilya, kapuso. <laughs> okay, here is the sentence. My family had fun staying at home together my family had fun staying at home together so what are the words in cbc pattern hans ezekiel nice one generals i wait Singa kayo nga sa bahay try to read it aloud in three two one
Very good. Nice one. So what are the words with a CVC pattern in that sentence? It's fun and indeed had. Very nice. Janice, Alessandra, Fatima, Jacob. Ang galing, ha? Nabibilib talaga si Tutor Jester. Maribeth, Jenna Rose as well. It's Anne. Very nice. Okay. Maritis David, thank you so much. All right. Now, CBC, what other CBC words that you know? Sige nga, kindly comment in. What other CBC words ang nalalaman ninyo? Yung may CBC pattern na mga salita. English, of course. Consonant, vowel, and consonant. Sige nga, I will try to read all of your answers. Sige nga, please. Okay. Watching from Al Central School, it's Mark Mendoza. Good afternoon, Mark. Thank you for being uh, participative as well, ha? Ang galing talaga, ha? According to Gallagher, it's cat. Red. Hat. According to Mylene. Bed, according to Juan Miguel. Dog, from Alessandra. Red, from Anne. From Ian, it's sun. Okay. Uh huh. Cat and dog, according to Jacob. Gum, according to May. Very good. Yes. Ben. Ben, according to Hans. Uh huh. Ariselli, she said, as she stated. Pop, okay. Six is accepted from Anne. Gem from Gallagher. Sun, okay. All right. Thank you so much. Now, oh, it happened. Oh, wait. Let's have the comprehension check. Yeah. However, oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry for this, for the error. But I will try to have this one for, for you. Okay. All right, so here is the directions. Fill in the box with appropriate vowel to complete the word in the puzzle that matches with each picture. Now, we will try to fill in the box with the appropriate vowel to complete the word in the puzzle that matches with each picture. Are you familiar? Familiar naman kayo for sure sa ganitong, uh, how do you call it? Siguro game, ano? <laughs> Kasi sa mga... Um, sa mga textbooks natin before, no may face-to-face -face pa, there is a um, puzzle-style activity in your book. Kapag across, di ba? Pahalang. Pag down, pababa. Okay? So unahin natin yung number one, which is down. So what do you think is the word that we're looking for? For number one, as you can see in the picture, it's an animal. I know for sure that you, most of you, has this kind of animal or a pet animal at home. According to Jen Mark, it's cat. To Anne, Juan Miguel, Michaela, Jen Rose, Jacob as well. It's Annabeth, yeah. <laughs> uh, Fatima, Jan Ishin, you got it right also. And let's reveal the answers. The answers, I mean, it's indeed cat. Very good cat. Jen, Fatima, Jen Rose, Annabeth. Let's proceed with number two. Let's have the across. Across. Pahalang. Okay, pahalang. Ayan. Tayo sa number two. Ito yun. Mag overlap sa number three. Pero we are just looking for the number two. Papunta dun sa number three. May letter N. So what is missing? What vowel sound is or word is missing for number two? As you can see, we got there a can. What kind of can? It's a tin can, indeed. <laughs> you are correct, um, Jen Mark, Susan, uh, Susan Marites, Janice, Arcelli, Mylene. Very nice, huh? Charisma, as well as um, and hands. Okay. All right. 
Thank you so much. Gallagher, you are also correct. And of course, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, very nice, huh? Let's proceed with number three. Down. So what is our um, picture there? What is missing? So we got N to number four T. So what is the one that we're looking for? You got it, Mylene. Yes, it's a nut. Ano bang nut sa Tagalog? It's mani, di ba? Or peanut, right there. Hans, you got it right. Mikaela, hey Susan. Yes, Hans, wow, nice one. And Merit is the beat. Tama kayo. Okay, next. Let's proceed with number four across. What is our picture there? It's a toy, right? Laruan. So we got the clues. Letter T is the first letter. And the last one is letter P. What is the answer for number four? It's a toy, ah, laruan. Okay, tama ka, Janus. Let's reveal the answer. It's a top. Parang Beyblade, di ba? Sa mga kabagang panahon. <laughs> okay. Jan Mark, you are also correct. It's Jovelin. You are right as well. And we enjoy mga mommies natin, di ba? <laughs> Not only the students, but also the parents are enjoying our Italy sessions, di ba? Hindi lang learning, but also we are enjoying our session this afternoon. Princess, you got it right. It's uh, Maribeth. Yeah, it's ha Hans. Tama ka dyan. <laughs> and indeed, for number five, what is the answer for number five? Down, pababa. So isang profesyon, di ba? Parang may kapsa. Uniperumadong uh, personel, ika nga, <laughs> sa balita. So what is the answer for number five? Down. We have the C and P there. And you were right. It's a cop or a police. Diba? Pag tatlong letter lang, a synonyms niya ng police is a cop. You got it right. Arceli and Daya. Charisma, Fatima, Jacob. Yes, you are correct. Lay. Nice one. Ay, nakakataba naman ang puso talaga. Okay. Tama din ang sagot ni Hans, ni Jan, Isha, ni Alessandra. Very nice. Okay. Thank you po. Let's proceed with the next one. Let's have this activity. And there, meron tayong um, story. Ito ang ating directions or yung ating panuto. Bob wrote a story about his family experience during the quarantine period. Read the story carefully. Take note of the CBC words used in the story. Again, directions. Bob wrote a story about his family experience during the quarantine period. Read the story carefully. Take note of the CBC words used in the story. Wow. Naalala niyo pa ba ng mga panahong um, quarantine pa tayo? Actually, until now, di ba? We are, I, I mean, still, we are we are on a community quarantine pa rin. Bawal pa rin talaga lumabas, lumabas and the only the personnel that can go out are the head of the family and yung mga nagtatrabaho, nag, uh, may work, may job. Diba? Pero tayo, kayo, mga grade 2 learners, hanggang bahay na lang, muna, tiis-tiis muna, di ba? Okay, here is the story that Bob wrote. My family was living in a small community. Everyone was not allowed to go out except my dad who is the head of our family, to buy goods we need. Since not all were allowed to go out, my mother assigned tasks for us. I was assigned to take care of our pet, pet dog, and cat. My sister was tasked to water the plants and sweep the floor, while my mom prepared food for everyone. My dad ran errands for the whole family. His task was very important. My mom taught us to cook simple 
recipes found from magazine and most often from YouTube. We sold them online for additional income. Okay. I learned so much from my mom and dad this quarantine period. Ulit natin na. Okay. My family was living in a small community. Everyone was not allowed to go out except my dad, who is the head of our family, to buy goods we need. Since not all were allowed to go out, my mother assigned tasks <clears throat> excuse me, for us. I was assigned to take care of our pet dog and cat. My sister was tasked to water the plants and sweep the floor while my mom prepared food for everyone. My dad ran errands for the whole family. His task was very important. My mom taught us to cook simple recipes found from magazine and most often from YouTube. We sold them online for additional income. And I learned so much from my mom and dad this quarantine period. Okay, so I hope that you have gotten the message of the story and as well as the words with CBC pattern. Now, here is the comprehension check. All you need to do is to choose from the letters from the option, okay? So who wrote the story for number one? It is indeed who. Who wrote the story, di ba? That's the directions natin. Nandoon, sino nag wrote the story? Is it A, the mother? B, sister, C, the father, or D, Bob, who? And you are correct, Aaron. It's indeed letter D, it's Bob. You are correct, Jasmine, Lay, Janus, Neri, yeah, Gallagher, galing talaga, si Ian, innumerable. Thank you so much, Myra, Jennifer, Eduarte, Hans, Neri, and many. All right, next proceed with number two. Where did the story happen? During community quarantine to ha, saan daw, um, ano daw lugar ang pinangyarihan ng istorya o ng kwento ni Bob? <laughs> okay, is it A, in a community? B, in the school park? C, at home? Or D, uh, yeah, at the park? <laughs> a, in a community? B, in a school, in their school? Or C, at home? Or D, the park. It's indeed letter C, di ba? Bawal pang lumabas. So specifically and particularly, ang pinangyarihan ng kwento ni Bob ay at home. Letter C. Kasi nga, community quarantine sa loob muna ng bahay. You're right, Jasmine, Jacob, Marites, Mylene, Maribeth, Hans, Juan Miguel, Neri. Okay, let's proceed with number three. Who was the only one allowed to go out in the family? Who was the one? Who was the only one to go out in the family? Sino daw ang um, pwede lang lumabas dun sa family, dun sa story? Okay? Is it A, the mother? B, sister? C, father, or D, Bob, who was the only one allowed to go out in the family? A, mother, B, sister, C, father, or D, Bob. Sino kaya? <laughs> okay, it is indeed... It is indeed letter C, the father. You're right, Fatima, Jacob, mm, Jasmine, Ian, Hans, Ezekiel. Okay. You're right, Maribeth. Ian as well, Lay and Ame. Si Ann, si Mylene. Very good. All right. Charisma Joy, Albaira. Pwede yung isulat ha, yung name ng school ninyo para ma-acknowledge sila. At yung principal mo, at yung teacher mo. Yeah, di ba? Okay. All right. Let's proceed with number four. Why was everyone not allowed to go out during quarantine period? Why was everyone 
not allowed to go out during quarantine period. Ayan. Why was everyone down? Hindi pinapayagan. Para, uh, during, nalamabas? During quarantine, may pandemia, di ba? Dahil A, is it to lessen the spread of the virus? B, to give time to rest from their jobs? C, to give time for the family? Or D, to learn, to earn extra money? Why was everyone not allowed to go out during quarantine period? Is it A, to lessen the spread of the virus? B, to give time to rest from their jobs? C, to give time for the family, or D, to learn to earn extra money. You are right. And let's reveal, it's letter A, to lessen the spread of the virus. You're right, Eliza, Aina, Jan, Fatima. Very good, huh? Wait, tama ang sagot ni Jan Rose, ni Juvi, Jennifer. Wow. Very nice, huh? Neri, Gabriel. Okay. Sige nga. Um, class, I want you to think. I want you to think of words with CVC pattern. Grade 2, learners. Think words with CVC pattern and gawin nga, use it in a meaningful sentence. Kayang-kaya nyo na yan, grade 2 learners, di ba? Mag-isip kayo ng mga words na may... Uh, CBC pattern and use it in a meaningful sentence. Sige nga, I am waiting for your sentences. Come on. All right. Sige nga. Okay. Yes, Neri. I'm waiting for your answers. Watch it. Hello, si teacher ko, si teacher Louie and Cortez from Masambong Elementary School. In Quezon City. Very nice, ha? Huh? And also, sino pa ito? Si Jan Rose. Oh, very good talaga si Jan Rose. And also, si Myra. Okay, so nag-iisip na sila ng mga words na pwede nating mga magagamit with CBC pattern. According to Hans, the dog is fat. Very nice. Ano yung mga words na may CBC doon? Dog and fat. Hands, Ezekiel. Extra. I love my cat. It's cat. C-A-T. You're right, generous. Watching from Heart A. Eduarte. From Mahada Out Elementary School. Marmutina and Swell to ang kanyang advisor, si Jennifer Eduarte. Uy, galing ha. <laughs> ano pa yung mga sagot nyo? I have a red cap. So what are those CV words with CVC pattern? Yung red and cup. That's right. Ian, innumerable. The sun is hot. You're right. Jan, Ishen, Layugin. Ang CVC words, sun and hot. <laughs> My dad is smart. Wow, Jacob, huh? Dad. That's dad. The AD, CVC. <laughs> okay. I play with my toy. It's T O Y C V C. You're correct, Neri the Lusong from Hain Element Hain Central School in Hain Weba. Esiha, I have a pet. P E T. That's coming from Mikaela Tessere Pineda. <laughs> Very nice. Oi. Ito, 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 si Brianna. Aida Molinyawe. Brianna Adi Molinyawe from Mahada Elementary School. Greet daw niya si Ma'am Pina Sueto. That's coming from Charisma Joy. Teacher daw niya si uh, Ma Marietta. Very nice. The cat is on the box. Uy, ang mga words doon ni Erin na may CVC ay cat. <laughs> box. Very nice. Ito naman, ang entry ni May. I have a dog. Very good. Jennifer Duarte's answer. My mom watered the plants. Nagdidilig ng halaman. Plantita ba si uh, mommy mo, Jennifer Eduarte? <laughs> Yung mom. Yeah. Yun ang CBC natin. My cat is fat. According to Gallagher, my lip is pink. 
According to Ian, LIP, that's CBC, correct. The red car is beautiful, according to Gala, uh, to Hans, Ezekiel. Extra, red and car, very good, very nice. Ano pa mga entry nyo? Sige, try to think. I have a ham. Uy, nice one. <laughs> Let's come from May. Resurrection. H-A-M or ham. C-B-C on, correct. I love to play with my dog. Dog. <laughs> it's Charisma's answer. Molinyawe. Very good. Okay, the key is on the box. It's B-O-X. <laughs> The dog sits under the table, according to Tutor J. Yeah, dog, correct. Okay, nice one. I adopted the cat. Okay. It's cat, correct? Huh? Puro cat, huh? <laughs> the dog ran after the cat, according to Gallagher. Oh, nice one, huh? Gallagher. Hello to my teacher, Evelyn C. Ragan. It's coming from... Aina Bakani. The rat is on the mat. Wow. <laughs> May daga daw doon. <laughs> Let's come from Erin. What are the CBC doon? Rat and mat. Very nice, Erin. The bag is red. That's the entry of Neri Dalusong. Very good. Uh, Princess Janela. Jamela. Niega. My mom and dad have a job. Okay. Mom and dad. Very good. <laughs> It's coming from, you know, I thought, Mary Ben. Okay. Hello, Tutor Jesser, watching from Hada Elementary School. Hello, daw kay Mom Rufina and Suelto na napakaganda. That's coming from Mylene Madaitan. Nakakatuwa, no? Not only the students, not only the learners or yung pupils natin ang nakikisa sa ating itulay online tutorial, but also our teachers and parents, they are also watching and at the same time learning um, in our session. Marami pong salabat sa full support. The cop is on the street. Magtago na tayo. <laughs> May pulis daw doon sa kalye. It's coming from Chelevir Ilagan. Cop. C-O-P. That's C-B-C. Correct. My mom is beautiful. It's coming from Ian. <laughs> nice one. I fixed the bed. Correct. Janice, the big red balloon. We got big and red. My heart. Oh my <laughs> heart, my dog is Okay, okay. The red pet is in the bed. The cat is cute. <laughs> you're right, Addy. Ah, you're right, Addy. You're right, Charisma. Katama si Addy nga. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, meron pang entry? Okay. And has 10 X. Wow. My dad is in the car. Dad is correct. And car is an example of CVC. I have... Ten pen, the entry of Jasmine. Ten and pen. CBC then, very good. I met my new pet. Met new pet. I have a toy. T-O-Y. <laughs> CBC on. Joanna Dinglasan. Hello, Anne Gidel. Calvin, the boy, has a pet dog. You know, entering Calvin, correct? Boy and pet. And dog has accepted also. Mylene Madaita. I met my new pet. We sana naman mag-selfie kayo ha. Kasama si Tutor Jester. Itong ating PowerPoint. Itong ating itulay session. Tapos pwede nyo siyang i-upload. At isend kay Tutor Jester. Sa Facebook account ko. That's Jester Pagkaliwagan. Again. Jester Pagkaliwagan. I will wait for your selfies. Or yung mga screenshots. Para who knows maging... Chuti of the week kayo ni Sir Jester and or ni Chutor Jennifer for the next week. Okay? Maraming salamat. Very nice. I met my new pet. Okay, from YouTube. May nagsagot. Who is that? Dog. From Shamir. Oh, nice one. But I said you need to use that in a the word in a meaningful sentence. Bob is the name of my pet cat. We have Bob, pet, and cat. Gallagher. The balloon pop or the balloon pops. Pwede na, pwede yun, or POP. Accepted. CVC. Let's come from Neri Daluso. Okay. All right. Very nice. Ha, talaga natuwa si Tutor Jester because most of you were, or not most eh, all of you gave your best shot 
this afternoon. Kaya, very thankful si Tutor Jester because you were able to um, answer all of my questions to, how do you call this, comment in our comment box. Kaya, nagpapasalamat again si Tutor Jester. And mind you, I'll be with you again this uh, 20 for uh, the grade 3 English. And please choose English Day every Tuesday from 1 until 4.20 in the afternoon. This has been Tutor Jester. Magpapaalam na ako sa inyo. Magsasama-sama tayo. Grade 3 English. Uh, English. Okay? So, share mo na sa mga kakilala mong grade 3. Mga kasama niya din si Tutor Jester. And yun niya, thank you so much. This has been Tutor Jester Substitute Tutor para kay Tutor Jennifer. Goodbye. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Ito Live free online tutorial session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippine social media accounts. Paalam!